Hello everybody, Lucid Dream Infinity. This is Andrew. Um, I wanted to do a video right now on some ideas that I have for future areas of Lucid Dream research. So one area that I would really like to do and see more research in uh, regarding lucid dreaming is with skill acquisition, right? So learning, learning new skills, learning how to do new things. And one specific area of this that I think would be really interesting to focus on would be learning new languages. So using, using lucid dreaming to help us uh, learn and become fluent in languages that we don't speak right now. And one of the reasons I think that lucid dreaming might uh, help tremendously with uh, language acquisition and, and learning a new language is because, uh, first of all, there seems to be this very strong connection uh, between speaking and language within the dream state itself and using your voice to sort of help shape the kinds of uh, experiences that you want to have within the lucid dream state. There's sort of a very powerful uh, connection there. And a, sort of in that same vein, in addition to that, the, the parts of the mind that, or excuse me, the parts of the brain rather, that are stimulated uh, during a lucid dream are the same parts of the mind that are responsible for uh, learning uh, language, learning learning language and, and communication uh, and those sorts of things. So it would be interesting to conduct an experiment, right, and see uh, if you know uh, lucid dreamers are able to learn foreign languages. Uh, more quickly than non-lucid dreamers. I think that would be kind of a, an interesting sort of experiment to conduct and one that, you know, I, if I ever have the opportunity to do that, uh, if I decide to go to graduate school or something like that, uh, I'd be interested in doing research on something like that. But I, wanna, I wanted to put that idea out there because I think that that could be a, a very intriguing area of, um, of inquiry. So the, the second thing that I wanted, I, w I want to see more research in, and you know, again, I, I would be willing to do this myself, would be using lucid dreaming to heal the physical body. Uh, it's particularly in uh, Robert Wagner's latest book called Lucid Dreaming, Gateway to the Inner Self, uh, he cites some very uh, intriguing um, anecdotal uh, incidences in which lucid dreamers have used lucid dreaming to help uh, facilitate healing their uh, physical bodies. Uh, I believe in one episode he talks about how a, a person is sort of suffering from a, a knee injury and uh, became lucid in the dream state and, and sort of used a, a lucid dream healing chant. Uh, you know, something like, uh, I, I heal myself and I am well. And then after, after saying this chant, right, the, the sort of pattern that has emerged with, with this phenomenon is uh, a lucid dreamer, uh, you know, has a sort of like a, a, a ray of light or light comes shining out of their hands. And you sort of, you take that light and you apply it to your, the, the part of your dream body within the lucid dream, right? You sort of touch your dream body, the part of you that's, that's injured in waking life. And uh, that, according to this anecdotal evidence in, in the book, uh, that has resulted in uh, actually benefiting and healing the physical body. Uh, and there, there are other incidences. Um, I, I read about a case where um, a woman was having uh, trouble with her uh, uterus, I believe. And so she was a lucid dreamer and became lucid in her dream. And uh, within the lucid dream, she used her fingers and sort of uh, slid her fingers into her lower abdomen area, like right where the uterus is. And uh, that 
uh, you know, she woke up and, you know, the next day or maybe a few days later, uh, she, she was healed, right? So there, there's not, uh, you know, there's not like scientific uh, journal peer reviewed empirical evidence that you can use lucid dreaming to heal the physical body. But curiously, we are seeing more and more of these anecdotal episodes where lucid dreamers are coming forward and saying that, yes, I have done that. I have used lucid dreaming to heal my physical body uh, and, and it works and it has helped me to heal. So there are more and more of these the sorts of uh, episodes and situations where people are reporting uh, this is possible. And, uh, you know, given that we have this, you know, sort of emerging pattern and this sort of emerging context for using lucid dreaming to heal the physical body, I think that that could also potentially be a very uh, exciting new area uh, for lucid dream research. So those are just a couple of, of uh, ideas for, you know, future areas of inquiry and sort of looking into the potentials of lucid dreaming. and what it can be used for uh, in terms of utility and practicality sort of beyond, uh, you know, beyond the wish fulfillment and fulfilling the desires and, and things like that, that uh, all of us lucid dreamers uh, enjoy, right? So trying to get into some of like the deeper uses of lucid dreaming and, and sort of exploring the, the potential aspects of, of, what the, of what the brain and what the human mind are, uh, are really capable of and what what sort of powers there are and and you know what human beings can really do what 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 you know what the potential of this mind and this brain are and uh uh so anyway yeah that that would be kind of cool to look into that stuff a little bit more um i think that that's it for this video hope it was interesting and i will see you in the next one